Hello, this is Wayne Van Dusen from Capital Investment Management. On behalf of David Garrison, Troy Schuster, and myself, we invite you to take a few moments to watch this brief video and learn how our partnership with Symmetry Partners can help you reach your long-term goals and avoid the common traps in today's markets. Hello, my name is Dana Dioria, and I am the Director of Research at Symmetry Partners. The intent of this Symmetry Short is to illustrate the benefit of a globally diversified investment strategy, even in times, such as now, when a more concentrated investment in U.S. large cap stocks is outperforming. For our purposes today, we will use the well-known S&P 500 index to represent domestic large company stocks. The graph you are looking at depicts the growth that $100 would have experienced in various investments over the course of five years through the end of September 2014. As you can see by the blue line, the S&P 500 has had outstanding performance over the last five years. In fact, over this time frame, the S&P 500 outdid other major regions of the global stock market, besting U.S. small cap stocks, international developed stocks, emerging market stocks, and consequently, an index representing a global mix of all the major stock regions. With this evidence at hand, you might quickly come to the conclusion that one needn't bother with anything other than the S&P 500. But does the previous graph really tell the whole story? We don't have to look far to find a period of time when the S&P 500 was not outperforming other global markets. The infamous lost decade from January 2000 to December 2009 was a period when many global asset classes posted solid cumulative returns, but the S&P 500 did not. During this period, U.S. large company stocks were outperformed by international developed stocks and emerging market stocks. All right, so every region of the globe has its day. Why not move your investments around to capture the best performance wherever it is taking place? Well, of course, the answer is that that is very difficult to do. With the benefit of hindsight, we now know that the S&P 500 was the top five-year performer. Is there any information available to tell us what will outperform over the next five years? The chart here is showing you the ranked calendar year performance going back 11 years for a variety of stock and bond indexes representing different sub-asset classes, such as our familiar S&P 500, international developed, and emerging market stocks. As you can see, the top performers move all over the place. There doesn't seem to be any clear pattern to follow. Nevertheless, you'll have no trouble finding a money manager who will claim to be able to time the markets and to figure out in advance which asset classes are most likely to outperform in the near future. Unfortunately, very few are actually able to consistently do this, and good luck finding them. Let's take another look at our beginning chart. Now, instead of showing the last five years, we are taking a look at the last 10. The S&P 500 is not on top. Emerging markets and U.S. small company stocks bested them during this time frame. But perhaps more interesting is the red line, which depicts the index showing the global mix of U.S. international developed and emerging market stocks. You might have noted that it was around the middle during the five-year period and is there again in the 10. That's, of course, because it represents a mix of most of the other indexes we are showing here. A substantial chunk of symmetry portfolio equity investments are in the S&P 500. So this recent winner is most assuredly part of your portfolio if you are invested with symmetry. But it is not your only equity holding. At symmetry, we believe that we are best served by diversifying investments across as many regions, sectors, industries and securities as possible. This will mean that we will never be the top performer. At the same time, it prevents us from being the worst performer in any market, such as the lost decade. Thank you for your time today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this presentation to be informative. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact Capital Investment Management at 816-246-1212 or toll-free at 1-888-307-3878.